Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody. Well, I'm, uh, I'm just now getting started on my Final Fantasy XIV blog post. Um, yeah, it's, it's 9.08 p.m. Um, I've either, throughout, uh, after today's stream, I either, either I'm trying to stay awake, or, or let me rephrase that, I've already taken, a have already taken two naps, and spent the uh, rest of the time just simply trying to stay awake. So, so what I'm gonna go ahead, but what I'm gonna go ahead and do anyway, again, I'm mainly doing this to, to save me some time when making the blog post, cause, uh, for, for days, I ain't gonna be typing down much. So, but anyway, um, like, um, uh, and that's what I was wanting to say, and I am gonna be a little bit out of it. Um, my, my head's, uh, my head's still in bed, if that makes any sense at all. But anyway, I'm gonna, like usual, I'm gonna have some music going in the background. Um, it's gonna be Five Odd Icorn Chen or something like that. I hard to pronounce. Uh, their Faithful Friends EP. Now, the music is very much not gonna match the album art. So yeah, it it's kind of a trippy ambient, I guess would be the phrase. Um, but even then, it might be a might be a bit on the quiet side. Um, I actually did try doing a try doing a video of this like uh, some odd days ago, but I had to deep six it because despite the um, despite the OBS setting the uh, the me thinking that I had the OBS settings just right, the music was actually too loud on that video and you could hardly hear me at all. So yeah, I had a had a shit can that vid. So this is gonna be my second attempt. But kind of going back to what I said a few moments ago, the music might be a bit on the quiet side. That's fine. I'm, I'm trying to play it safe. And I'm gonna get rid of a few windows here. Okay. Okay. So, um, to start with, uh, today, for those that have seen my other video about my Johnny Walker team, well. DJ Screw uh, came on my stream today and actually made a made another suggestion. This time, or let me back up. Originally, I had three King Helidors in this team. Well, he suggested I add Queen Ash as well. And a bit of an improvement. Um, basically, I'm adding up. This adds a little bit more offensive power and a little less healing. Um, create a brown gem. Um, reduce damage from skulls. This actually, despite the fact that, despite the fact that, uh, at least as shown in, as shown in the, in the uh, team list here, no, they're not, they're not, uh, they're not in the top position yet. I mean, some of the content I've done, some of the uh, enemies I've fought, um, let me set an example here. Like, uh, let's say Cedric Sparkle Sack. Pull the last enemy to first position. You know, it switches your positions around, and then you add... You know, and then you add Rope Dart, pull them to first position, and then... You add various other abilities and mechanics that jumble the team, and... You know, so on and so forth. Actually, having stone skin is a pretty good trait to have. Again, considering how often uh, my team members here keep getting knocked around. You know, all, always one of them being knocked to the first position. So having the uh, having the skull damage reduction comes in very handy. Because what you see right here ain't gonna stay that long, or isn't gonna stay this way for that long. A whole lot of knocking around, but anyway. Like I said, um, this this new group it trades in a little bit of healing because I mean, the other two guys here give five life to all LA allies when trading in one of them and giving them all a little bit more offensive power. Now, I, this a bit her ability again. It's it's pretty much the same as the uh, other two guys. I'm not a fan of it. I mean, 
creating three elemental stars. That's good. But, um, heavy splash damage to the second last enemy. Like, it has to go to that particular slot. And, um, unless I miss something, um, if there is no enemy in that second to last slot, this ability does nothing. So, so, yeah, kind of a, they need a, they need to at least make this targetable. Or maybe deal, um, if I was to venture a guess, deal 25 damage to all enemies. It's, you know, something like that, but it just, this here is way too spe uh, situation specific. Because there are a fair amount of situations that I go through where there is no enemy in that second to last slot. So, but like, like, I, like I said, it, the rest of them pull them to the front. Okay, that's good. Creating three, three elemental stars. I mean, that's good too. So, and then um, I do need to do one more thing here in the background. I, um, I originally, I originally had the name, uh, I mean, John, you know, Johnny Walker was the original one. Um, I also changed it to, uh, Johnny version 2.0, but I figured, you know, you look at the names. Born of Stone, Blessing of Stone. Blessing of Rock. Wow. You know, anyway, um, you know, so I decided to go ahead and just name it The Rock Band. But it's another uh, working title, so work in progress. But once again, um, new group, new group, uh, trading in, uh, trading in some healing for some, uh, for some uh, damage, some offensive power. So, so again, uh, credit, props to DJ Screw for showing that to me, and then um, and then another group. And I believe this group has actually been out for a while. But I had just noticed, again, this is another uh, another DJ Screw suggestion right here. I think I had uh, my, uh, I mean, it, you know, classic standard issue. I think uh, it's great for new players. Um, I can't remember what else I had in here. I know... I had this in here. I had it at the top. Um, I think I had, I had, I think I had Thrall in here. Um, somebody else. I can't, like I said, I can't remember who else. But anyway, this is a new team that was suggested to me, and it works wonders. So definitely an improved P. It's definitely a new and improved P shooter. So. So yeah, but definitely a new and improved. We got Mirage Queen in here. Gives her uh, 50% mana. Uh, the Lucky Leprechaun. You know, uh, Black Manacles. So. Yeah. Vast, vastly superior to uh, to the the, the one-shot deal group I used to use. I don't have I don't have two Iron Hawks, so I had to make two of them because we's from the ghetto up in here. So, so yeah, it, it struggles on the difficulty one stuff, whereas P shooter hardly an issue. So, uh, but I guess since I'm here, I'm, let's go ahead and do a, a D12 run.
think they started with uh, 35, I want to say. But we got uh, dealing 55 true damage. So we got 59. Sixty-one. Sixty-five. So it's climbing. Whoops. Now I got seventy-five. So yeah, like I said, it's climbing. Now we got 85 true damage, so this can make this can make the tough stuff a little bit quicker. I forgot to check that again. I think I said this during my stream too. I, I kind of feel a bit bad attacking my own brethren. We got 45. Oh, we got 49. Oh, got nothing. This is almost like the Queen Bee group. Sometimes you're giving your opponent three matches. We got 55 damage. 57. Eh, I forgot what that number was. Oh, we got 67. 71. And 73. And 75, but as you can see, it's going up and up. Seventy-four. I should be enough to take her off. Yep. Uh, Eighty-one. But like as you can see, though, there's not as not as much healing. Not as much healing, but the the damage basically goes up every turn. Seven? Nope. And I forgot to check the number. We got fifty nine. One stinking hit point. 71. Surge. 77, as you can see, the number, the number keeps going up. Just gotta keep getting those brown matches. Three, so I'll 
Ponte Mara. Short enough on that, now off. Let's see, let's go to, uh, I'm just gonna pick one, uh, Glacial Peaks. And that's something else, uh, too, about the pea shoot, the new pea shooter group. I can do, uh, I can do difficulty two stuff, although the black manacles on that team won't be as effective. Let me uh, let me fix that uh, class. I no longer need Death Knight. So the goal now, oh, oh wait, is to try to get um, about 150 wins with this class to get that reflection of good. But yeah, here's the. Uh, Kind of show you why uh, this does this team doesn't work all that great. One, I gotta. Oftentimes, uh, I'll usually have to clear out the fours and five, the four and five matches first, so my opponent don't grab them. Now, in a normal regular fight like this, less of an issue, but um, if I was to fight a fight one of the bosses. Who's gonna, who's gonna have a lot more health than normal, then it can oftentimes go into a second turn. Like that. So, I now have to scramble for a purple to get him up. So, it's just an extra turn now. Whereas, with the new pea shooter group, Yeah, a lot easier. And since I'm blowing the board on turn one, I ain't gotta worry about digging up those fours in five matches. wasn't paying attention. I guess we're, we're fighting a D1 uh, mythic boss. So there we go. But, um, yeah, that's gonna do it for me. Um, I just want to do a few of those demos there. So, so yeah, um, so I'll probably keep uh, doing a few more of those, uh, ba battles, trying to get those wins on that Archmage's class. And then, um, I think DJ Screw also said that, uh, it's a, it's also a, a great class to use when you're a soul farming. And considering that I only got about 17,000 souls, yeah, I, I could definitely go for some of that. Yeah. Good goal to shoot for. So. But otherwise, um, but thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.